and welcome back to my channel. So, in this episode of Minecraft Survival, in, uh, yesterday I was sick, so I'm uploading this today, which is on Tuesday. And uh, in this episode, um, without further ado, let's actually go down. My plan here is, either we make a, uh, a sheep farm, which is, uh, uh, we sort the, uh, the sheep uh, by color. Uh, for example, pink, black, yellow, blue, and stuff like that. But we have to uh, go to here, expand it, uh, go to this place and make another staircase. Or, we could make this. Uh, we could actually start making our automated farm. That I'm going to make, which is... Uh, I'm going to make a automatic sugarcane farm, pumpkin, uh, melon. And maybe if I if I know how, uh, I think the nether wart farm is almost the same as this one, so that's that. And with that being in mind, uh, I've changed the beacon to a uh, haste. And with that being said, um, I've also uh, repaired my world eater, and it took me around 30 levels to fix this guy, and it is a pain in the butt. Oh, um, I'm gonna use it anyway until like I think 6 days. I'm gonna do it 6 days. 6 days is going to be my max. I won't do any more than 60. And since we have a uh, exchange pickaxe at our uh, storage upstairs, we could actually change our world eater pickaxe if it comes to worse. But with that being said, let's actually just uh, try to break this and make this as uh, large as possible. Then after that, we are going to make our automatic uh, farms, uh, sugar cane, sugar cane, pumpkin, melons, and also nether work using redstone machinery machines. And I'm going to try as best as I can. And of course, I'm gonna be using YouTube to see someone else's uh, guide since I don't, I'm not really good at uh, what you call it. I'm not really good at redstone, really. So uh, that's that. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna cut the feed, not the cut. Uh, probably uh, similar to what I did on my uh, subscriber special. Like I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of the cut scene that I did. And with that being in mind, to the loo. Alright, so I finished the uh, the netherworld farm, which is only copying the, these other guys right here. So I made a uh, hallway, a uh, hallway to there, and there is a hopper here that actually uh, comes through the this one. And as you can see here, there's another hopper over there, and uh, these netherworlds will all transfer here and into the chest. And that's why this method would be a little bit far more efficient than what I was planning on. Oh, I haven't actually tried the farm yet, so why not? We do it now, like so. And as you can see, the nether words are indeed pushed, but I think I might have uh, done something that is really bad. Okay, so apparently um, that needs to be blocked. I'm stupid. And you is too long, apparently. Uh, you are way too long. So uh, let me uh, get rid of you, and uh, let me put uh, put you actually uh, there. All right. All right. In like so. Voila. Okay. And now the water will now will flow. All the way there, but I just hope that uh, the 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 thing works. So let's see now. Uh, the thing is falling down here, like so, and then it is being sent there to the hopper. Well, so I could just stick stuff over here. Wait, where's the nether ward? Actually, um, the nether ward should be here. 
but oh the nether wart is indeed here but it is not sending down yet because it is sending them down slowly because apparently yeah because i have fold uh, this nether wart will, oh, will go down here definitely and with that being said my farm is a success uh, except that i think i have to put slabs on top of do stuff or on top of it so that uh, I know uh, that the nether work and the stove doesn't actually go up here okay uh, hold on alright so I think this should fix the problem of the thing the seat and the stove jumping around the uh, perimeter let's actually test this one more time before we actually replant our stove like so and it is actually good now we turn it off Okay, so my nether wart farm and my uh, normal farm is working properly, and we have an automatic one. Okay, with that being said, um, I don't actually know if I'm going to continue this because it has been taking long enough, but uh, well, I haven't actually do anything uh, that much yet, so uh, let's actually try to replant these and I'll figure it out. I'll figure out of what do I want to do actually since I don't really know what to do at the moment um, hold on alright so I think I decided to you know what let's first change our flooring into wood because we do need our thingy to be uh, all wooden right because I don't want to be it to be stone it is ugly well I know that I, I'm making a house in a cave but why not Oh, okay, I think I have to use, uh, let's, use, let's just use normal wood, since why not. So let's destroy all of this, but I have to be, caref be careful to not uh, destroy the middle middle thingy, eh? because later on the pigs could go to the, to the uh, chickens, chicken scoop and, well, like that. But I think I'm gonna do a full block until up here. Then we shall start to use slabs because uh, woods, wood is available resources and I'm too lazy to mine more the bow. So uh, do that. More wooden planks like so. Okay, let's actually destroy that part of the block so that I could actually put something under them. Alright, like so. And with that being said, I should be able to now put slabs. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting slabs right here. And okay, hold on, let me uh, do the thing again. Alright, so uh, I expanded the farm a little bit longer, a uh, little bit wider I mean, and I think I just about know how to uh, actually make this farm. So uh, first and foremost, we are going to make a pattern like so. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but uh, I'm just gonna do the pattern like so, and then, well... I'm gonna do this, I guess you could say that, and maybe, maybe we need to uh, do it with one block, okay, hold on, and I'm gonna set up the farm for a bit. Alright, so I think I figured it out, so make a pattern like this, then take an observer, and actually, uh, face it that way, which is, there's going to be our pumpkin and melons, uh, which is uh, from this side. Okay, I think that's a bit wrong. And uh, okay, but let's do this slowly, I guess. So, um, uh, why you keep doing this to me? So just keep doing stuff like this. But I think I have to uh, look at a little bit further so that it looks in front. And then we we shall change the middle 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 thing with that. Which is something over here, but I didn't bring my axe. 
my axe is still in the chest because I'm too lazy to to grab it. So uh, this this lane and the other lane would be uh, for uh, water and also dirt, and that is where our uh, melon and pumpkin is going to be. And uh, I'm trying to uh, connect the the pipes which uh, they are collected into the ones that is the center of the chest which is something that I did with another work farm uh, I'll tell you guys after this uh, so that it is um, a little bit more what you call it uh, what you call it uh, makes sense a little bit a little bit more makes sense and uh, so place dirt like so and then put water in the middle and then I actually hope that uh, I think I should have made it a little bit higher on the end there, so that the water could flow down. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do that, so hold on. Alright, as you can see here, I've completed the... well, I haven't actually completed, but I actually uh, did the thing that I was talking about, so I make this, uh, this, uh, this way so that the water could flow through, and I actually made something like this. So that now the items could fall through here and come to my main system for pumpkins and well plants and stuff. And uh, the reason why I haven't finished this is because I want to show you guys what should we do next. So this the next thing you do is put a solid block in each every behind of the uh, observer block like so, and then like that and like so. And do the same on the other side, of course, and then put redstone behind the pistons. Okay, hold on. Let me actually do that so that it is much easier for me to do stuff. Alright, and voila. So we do have an observer block like right here. So we put redstone over here, 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 here. And do the same uh, for the rest. As you guys know, um, we need to do that. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one. Okay, I think I forgot about this one. Okay, right there. All right, and then one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, so I think this block needs to be destroyed because we do need to put a redstone there. In order for the piston to work, and with that being said, let's try and update blocks. All right. So you see here, as the piston uh, uh, pushes the melons and pumpkins, and that's going to break them, and actually gonna let them go down here. But I think I've run into a bit of a mistake. I assume. I think I, I, uh, I think it isn't supposed to go like there. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna fix up all of this uh, after this. Uh, so hold on, you guys, and I'm gonna make this pretty and dandy. All right, I am back. So I made this as pretty as possible. I mean, like I made it as my preference. So I made this block in hopes that the melons don't get stuck like the, that one over there. So uh, I bone meal a bit of them, so we're just uh, so every time they grow a melon, the melon will be pushed, and it will drop down here, go through here, and the water will go here certainly. And don't worry, there's a hopper here, so I've uh, what you call it? I pulled the hopper over here, so that is now available over here. But I will probably remove this stuff. Um, pumpkin is okay. Third and stop like that and anyway i'm gonna put the melons back there so that it is now save all of them there and put our actually our dirt and stones on the chest of our hair and with that being said i think that's actually going to be it actually for this episode so uh yeah so in this episode i made a lot of progress on my uh, farming room so i made a uh melon farm and nether work farm and also of course i have my normal farm oh accidentally hit there but there is something that i forgot that is the uh sugarcane farm but i'll do that in a later date because i'm too late right now so here are all of my farm 
I personally, I personally like the melon farm and pumpkin farm the best because it looks cool. Like, look, look at this. It, it just, just a normal farm, and this one is really cool. Like, you don't see the uh, aesthetics of it. But anyway, enough of that. So, uh, uh, this this row over here is all pumpkins until this, and then this all of that until that one is uh, melon melon uh, melon farm. So with that being in mind, and also I made a uh, infinite water source here because water source was getting uh, water was getting hard to uh, get because I'm too lazy to do stuff. And with that being in mind, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next episode of me doing other stuff like this. Uh, yeah.